thank you to every single one of you who shows up every day at the Florida Maki YouTube channel and takes the time to watch, to like, to share, to subscribe. I know with everything going on in the world, there are so many things to do, so many other distractions, that you take the time to be here. It means a great deal to me. To those of you who show up over at the Patreon channel, well, that's another level. I know it doesn't seem like much, three pennies per day, one dollar per month, but it makes a difference. It makes a huge difference in my life. Thank you so much for being there. For those of you who are not at the Patreon channel, you might ask, what's the difference? Well, it's the conversations that you have with your adult friends versus the conversations that you have around teenagers or children. There are certain things you just can't say. It's not that you're trying to be dishonest with your teenagers or children, but the things you can say around adults are very different. And that's why we have the Patreon channel. We can speak openly. And if it's too open for you, after 90 days, fully refundable. Lowest allowable level. Three bucks, right back at you. Only $1 per month. If it's after a month, too much for you. One dollar right back at you. Nothing lost. Would love to have you. Now, in today's video, Napoleon Bonaparte. An army's effectiveness depends on its size, training, experience, and morale. And morale is worth more than any of the other factors combined. That might seem like a strange thing to hear from Napoleon. You mean the size of the army doesn't matter as much as the morale? Training? Experience? Really? He's absolutely correct. If you have a group of soldiers, airmen, marines, on your side that believe in the cause, and you don't necessarily have to motivate them, and they have morale inherent in them to do their duty, they're going to defeat forces much larger, much more well-trained, and much more experienced who don't have that sense of morale. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are looking at this video, this particular picture, pardon me, and saying, Florida Maki, how can you go from talking about morale to a picture of a random hole that you dug in the middle of the Florida woods? Well, it has to do with the unexpected. It has to do with being able to deal with things, improvise, adapt, and overcome. I had dug this, and I had put this over at the backup channel and talked about this here. I was going to dig and create some type of a small pond, small watering station for some of the local wildlife. But I dug, and I dug, and I dug, and... I thought for sure, after two or three feet, that I would run into water. I didn't. I didn't want to put liner in this to create basically a giant trap of rainwater, because that's just a mosquito nightmare. I wanted something that was fed from below. And I kept digging and digging, and, well, I forgot about it. I had other things going on, but something happened. In the last couple of weeks. Now this was earlier this spring. That reminded me of something. This is what that hole looks like now. Completely overflowed. The entire woods in that section. Is standing under at least a foot of water. Now. What does that remind me of? Well. In a survival situation. This could be a giant problem. But Florida Maki, I don't have any intention of being anywhere near one of those Florida swamps. Well, you might not have the intention, but you might not have any other choice. What would happen if you were on a highway and all of a sudden there was some major disruption ahead? EMP knocks out all the cars and you're stranded and you're stuck. And the only way to get out of this situation is to start heading off to one side of the road or the other. 
You see, they manicure these uh, highway areas to make them look innocuous. But once you get beyond the tree line, things get very, very different. What would happen if you came across a farmer's field like this, standing in one, two feet of water, and you just got, well, what's on your feet? See, a lot of people keep a survival kit in the car, and it may have blankets, and it may have a ballistic weapon, and it may have the ability to start a fire. Maybe there's a tarp. But what if you had to walk through this? See, in my vehicle, there are muck boots. I've never seen a survival video talking about everyday things you should have in your vehicle that included muck boots. But it would be incredibly, incredibly important, especially anywhere in the South. Anywhere in the South. These medians, you see how it looks like a nice, pretty, manicured golf course? You go walk through here, and you will be up to your knees in muck. Yeah, it's green on the surface, but this is solid muck through most of the interstates throughout all of the South, just across the highway with what normal people wear on their feet would create a huge morale night nightmare. Ideally, ideally, having a set of these in the car would give you a huge tactical advantage over your enemies that didn't in the same conditions. Now, these are 26-inch um, mid-thigh waders, 170 bucks. But that's a third of the cost of the average handgun. And these would be far more likely to make your life better than any handgun would in that situation. I'm not saying don't have a handgun. I'm saying that for a third of the cost, you could save yourself so much pain so much grief, so much heartache, because if you don't have these and you've got to go through a field like this, it will be an insane nightmare. Gemplers, G-E-M-P-L-E-R-S, is where you can find these. Also, if you're going to get through a farmer's field, let's say you have kids, let's say you have elderly, you're going to need to cut that fence. Do you have a pair of snips in the vehicle that can cut through a barbed wire fence? This is Koto, K-O-T-T-O, -T -T bolt cutter, pliers, set, industrial heavy. There's three different cutters in this group. This one is for cutting bolts. This one is for cutting barbed wire. And this one is for cutting other mesh wire. 26 bucks. Best, well, 27. 27 bucks you will spend to put these in the vehicle and put a set of muck boots in the vehicle if you're going to be out traveling. Now, on a lighter note, a lot of people talk about prepping food, beans, bullets, band-aids. After a while, plain old beans, plain old rice, it's going to affect your morale to not have anything with any flavor to it, anything with any savor to it. This is Walker's Wood, traditional Jamaican jerk seasoning, hot and spicy. I picked this up at the store recently, and it's a paste. And you don't need very much of it to go a very, very long way. I cooked up nine huge chicken breasts for meal prep, and I only needed about a tablespoon of this and about a quart, quart and a half of orange juice. All poured in the pan, and then... Put the chicken, the orange juice, and this seasoning in the pan. In the pan, Put it in the oven for about, oh, two hours at 350. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Tiny jar, 10 ounces. Great for salmon. Great for pork. Great for chicken. Great for shrimp. These little things will make a huge difference in survival. I know they seem entirely unrelated. But for the amount of effort that you have to put into them 
and for how little reference I see to it here on these platforms, these could make a giant difference. Just having food that has some flavor to it and having the ability to move out in a way where your feet weren't sopping, soaking wet puddles of mud and garbage and crap. And you have to admit, truly, that this could be a real situation. Something happens, and you're stranded, and your car is trapped, and the only way out is walking. You're close to running out of fuel. You're not very far from where you've got to go, maybe seven, eight miles in one certain direction, but you've got to get off the highway. So you pull your car off to the side of the road so it's not an impediment. You throw on your muck boots. You have your normal kit, backpack maybe some water, some protein bars, other things. But man, you've got those snips and you've got those boots and you can cut yourself through any fence you need to and you can cross any field you want to and get to where you have to be. So I just wanted to share this. I wanted to point this out that not a lot of people that talk about survival talk about that. And if it's long-term survival... If it's long-term survival and you have all of these bland things on the shelf that are cheap and easy to get, this could make the difference. An army's effectiveness, any group's effectiveness, depends on its size, training, experience, and morale. And morale is worth more than any of the other factors combined. That's Napoleon. And I'll leave it there. Once again, thank you very much to everyone who shows up at Patreon. We would love to have you. And like I've said, I'll reiterate it again. It's only one U.S. dollar per month. It's the only level that gives you access to everything. If you want to sign up for an entire year, it's even less than that. It's 90 cents per month. Even less, you get a 10% discount. And also, after three months, you don't have to stick around for three months, but you can up to three months you can still get a refund. You can inbox me over there. You can't do that here. And say, hey, it's not for me. Can I have my $3 back? No questions asked. Fully refundable. The lowest allowable level. We can partner with Vimeo so that we can have conversations like we can have with other adults and not have to worry about, oh, there's a teenager around. Oh, there's a little one around. We can't talk about this. That's kind of the issue here at YouTube. I'll leave it there. God bless. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.